or do it like this. Uh, try not to. <laughs> All right, so Drew Roy with Falling Skies is here. Got to tell you, we were watching the pilot the other night with our nine-year-old son, and he just casually strolls through the room and goes, Hey, I know that dude. <laughs> yeah, he was one of Hannah Montana's boyfriends. Nice. How many times on an average day do you get approached by some little girl with a Hannah Montana or an iCarly reference? You know, it all depends on like where I am. I don't really go out a whole lot, but you know, if you go to certain places like the mall and whatnot, it can get a little out of hand. With, like the first time that happened, I was blown away. I was like, wow, I'm that guy who people have surrounded. Like, like 40 people. Security has to come up. So that's kind of weird. But it happens infrequently enough where it's not a hassle, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like a pat on the back, you know, it's, it's nice to have the fans come out. Well, you know, every time I read about the characters that you played on those shows, you would describe it as the bad boy. Yeah, 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 the bad <laughs> boy kind of boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I don't think I'm too bad myself, but uh, so, it's, so it's fun to play. You know, as far as acting gigs go, this has to be pretty much every boy's dream. Yeah. I mean, you get to be dirty, you get to run around, shooting guns, taking on aliens. Yep. It's a long way from Clanton, Alabama. It is, man. I, how I got out to Hollywood, that's a long, crazy story. I'd never acted before in my life. Um, I just decided to pick up and move, which if anybody's thinking that, don't, don't. do it. It, it. The odds are not in your favor. So how long was it from the time you left Clanton to where you got your first paid acting gig? Uh, first gig was on a show called Greek, and I think it was... Uh, five years into it and you know when it first when, when I was going through the five years I was like man I wish things would hurry up and pick up but looking back on it I wouldn't change anything because I learned a lot through that through that time and I probably wasn't really ready yet because you know every year I'm supposed to be getting better and uh, in the beginning I probably shouldn't have been on TV so um it was, it was a nice little process. So how old were you when you made that move? 18. Just graduated high school. Yeah. yeah. What did your parents think about that going off on your own? Such a big move. They were not a big fan of it. Um, I, school was always pretty easy for me. I, I wanted to be a doctor. Uh, my dad's a dentist. And um, I had a scholarship to go to University of Alabama. <laughs> I decided to be smart to turn it down to then go to Hollywood, like I said, having never acted. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, you know, you're on a show with, with some tremendous acting talent. Noah Wiley, Will Pat and Moon's been in a ton of stuff. When was the last, I got to pinch myself to make sure I'm not dreaming moment that I'm on the Steven Spielberg show? You know, as amazing as it is working with all those guys you just listed, when Steven Spielberg showed up on set, that was pretty incredible. Uh, I got to meet him. Um, and then he, he did. Actually, he acted like he knew who you were. He did. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he had a very lot of nice to say. And then he actually took me aside. He took like we went like 30 yards away from everyone. We're on this on location, and we're like just out there chatting. You know, he's telling me about um, we're talking about my dirt bike. Uh, he was intrigued by that, and so we were talking about it. And then um, he was telling me about horse horse back riding, and I didn't know anything about riding horses. It's <laughs> like this would be a good time to know something. Then I booked Secretariat. So next time. And be ready. <laughs> now, what is the question you have for Steven Spielberg when you get that moment where you can interject something? That one question, what did you ask? You no, know, I'm a firm believer in you have two ears and one mouth. So when you're in that kind of company, I just sat back and listened, you know, and threw, threw around some ideas and whatnot, but I didn't, didn't do a whole lot of question asking. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, I, soak it up. I have yeah. a feeling if I was interviewing Steven Spielberg, I'd be like Chris Farley. Remember his interviews? Remember that time? Like yeah, that, was, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't pull one of those. <laughs> well, cool, man.